What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Simulation for the Nation. If you are liking what you're going to see, don't forget to hit the like button, smash that subscribe button and join Simulation for the Nation as we look around the first look of Lone Oak Farm. Bit of a backstory if you don't know Lone Oak Farm, this was originally created by Bullet Bill for FS17, uh, released with, uh, with huge, huge applause and, and fanfare. Great looking at American map, set in Oregon originally, uh, on a real life farm, real life location. Uh, very, very detailed, using as much detail from Google Maps as possible. Fast forward to where we are present day, and this has been converted by Oxygen David, so you know it's been done properly, and it is coming soon to both console and PC. Now, today we're doing our first look. We are not using seasons. The reason we want to do that is so we can give you the best impression of what the map looks like in I guess vanilla mode really. Uh, it is seasons compatible. I will be starting a few live streams and maybe even a, a, some sort of game save with uh, with seasons in there. And it, let me tell you, it looks striking already. So it's only going to look better with seasons enabled. Um, before we go any further, we are looking at the wall right now, and we're looking at that so we can get a better idea of the map. Uh, as you can see, the PDA here looks brilliant. We are very central with the main farm, uh, starting with a f several fields actually to get us up and away. Uh, and more crucially, you can see there's a great mix of both grass and arable fields in which to work with. Uh, but let's let's not waste any more time. Let's turn around here. We've got our trusty steed behind us and the dog. Uh, we're going to be riding that, taking that pickup truck for a bit of a cruise around. So why not let's take it over to the main yard? This is the house though, which is uh, was always very interactive in 17, and it looks like that still remains. Uh, can just get oh let's open that and get that dogs still there just don't know about the fs17 uh, or fs19 dog as you can see there is our uh our name place itself the lone oak on the hill there we'll be coming up to see that at some stage don't worry about that uh but yeah what a beautiful looking uh yard it is a beautiful time of the day actually as well uh really good sunlight in the morning on farming simulator i do really enjoy that so we're going to take a little bit of a, a cruise around we're going to stay in third person so you guys can get the uh, best impression uh, let's go and have a look straight into the yard, see what starting equipment we do have. And then whilst we're in the yard there, we're going to look into field prices and see how that's all shaping up. See how much money we're going to have to make. I do, straight away, I do like the textures on the old grain bins there. I think they look really nice, a bit used, love that. We've got a couple of John Deere's that I can see straight off the hop there. Let's just stop here. This is our 8245R, nice big meaty tractor to get it going. What's in the workshop? Anything? Nothing. But a nice straight through workshop so you can drive straight through and keep on cracking on, which is great. Uh, on this side we've got a combine by the looks of things. There it is. Huge! Uh, what is that? The 790? Yes. And our seed store, which is also great. And again, because we're going to be using big equipment, straight through drivability. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, a huge yard as well with our fertilizer stores and everything you need. Uh, coming around here, we've got more sheds, more storage space, lime fill point, about licks of things. Uh, oh, we've got it. I didn't expect this to be full of trailers, I must admit. There's a forage wagon, there's a cultivator, there's another forage wagon. Oh, that's just the main big trailer, actually. Huge big star drill, that just fits in there. And our straw cell point, magnificent. And there's our plant. Lovely looking grain bins, looking a bit old there with the dryer, but still pretty cool nonetheless. Can I press that button? Is it going to let me press the button? No, oh, that's a shame. Uh, we've got our mower, we've got our sprayer in there as well, and what's in this shed? Anything cool hiding? No, that's negative. Oh, and another John Deere. Perfect. This is, looks like the 6M, it is indeed. The baler and the weeder. Uh, it looks like I got a water cell point. Uh, nothing there. And this is one of our, this is the back end of our cattle shed, that's a nice storage point. And I believe in here if we open this guy up. There we go, that's into our cattle shed there. Nice looking, traditional looking buildings really, I do really like those a lot. And a nice little run there, and this is where we're going to be able to buy our cows from. Just like that. Uh, so like I say, we're going to just jump into the main menu here. Let's go across to our uh, land. Now you can see that we start with quite a bit actually, uh, so we've got a lot to work with, a few fields to work on with as well. Let's have a look at these two fields here, just see the value of that. It's going to be $300,000 uh, really, uh, it should be in dollars, which is, yes, it's quite a bit of money. Um, we can, I'm sure we can get by with that. Uh, we'll be able to 
We'll change our uh, currency over as well to make it fit there. But you can see if we go to one of these big guys, let's go to 50 looks like it's one of the biggest fields here. 927, 927,000. So it's a lot of money there, so you're going to have to work hard to save up to get there, but it will be worth it in the end. Uh, we'll go back and get the truck. We're going to head back down that little ramp there. We're going to have a look at the fishing lake. See if there's any carp in there this time of year. And now, of course, when Seasons is activated here, you will be able to um, go over to that lake that it will be frozen. It's going to be iced over, which is going to look pretty cool. Uh, I do like the little buildings. I always did. I do really think this, uh, this, this part of the map, as we go down through here, this yard and going down towards the, the big lake there, always my favourite. Really, really stunning. And I just think it's incredible. Really well made. That big field around there loops around the lake and around the fishing uh, cabin. Just thinks it looks perfect. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to take a little bit of a drive. We're going to start where we are right now and we're going to go through 30, 35 and through kind of, there's a little path between uh, up to 43. And then we're going to head down south, we're going to have a look at the store, we're going to go up that main road and then uh, kind of go anti-clockwise really and see how we get on. Uh, but yeah, a lot of attention to detail. Now, Oxygen David has put in here um, his new grass textures. Uh, we've seen things like a, a few changes to seasons when it work, when it comes into here. I do believe the lighting has been dialed up a bit as well, and uh, Oxy's put special tweaks onto it. Uh, but the grass texture itself does look pretty brilliant. Uh, look at that view through there. Isn't that just marvellous? Uh, and then, yeah, through to our lake. Uh, as we cross through here. Nice little fishing cabin. Ooh, hit the fence post. No one saw that though, right? We're fine. A uh, little cabin there to go and waste a bit of time. Maybe try and catch some fish. I can't wait to see what that looks like frozen over though. That's going to be glorious. Really, really good. Uh, and yeah, it's just a nice little... Nice little paddocks here that we can work on in. Gets uh, quite a bit of hay off here. Now I do believe if memory serves there is a track up here. Which I think we're in the all clear for. Find out. We're gonna just cruise. So I'm gonna keep the map open as well, so you guys can see roughly where we are at any given time. Coming up to the corner of Field 43, which will loop around. The reason we're gonna loop around, we're gonna have a look at that low knock. We're gonna go up there. Now this is this is the part I like as well. This this whole area, this swooping uh, kind of outbreak in the field there. This one, this field to my right here is a great one to harvest. Actually, it really is good. And then up we go. To where else but the lone oak tree? What a glorious place! Now you can see. Look at the look at the view across the map there. It's absolutely stunning. It looks incredible. What both Bill Bill did in seventeen and Oxy's managed to maintain in nineteen is the 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 view, the depth of field there going across the map with a bit of a seamless border. You just don't know where the borders are. Uh, some maps that we look at, it's very difficult to tell, and you do get stuck a little bit as well trying to find them, but. Or like, a, or you get stuck next to the edge of the field, like Welker Farms, for example. The borders there were very, uh, very poor, in my opinion. Uh, whereas this one is really quite something. Very, very nice indeed. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to head this way, and we're going to go and check out the stores, and then we'll come uh, all the way back up that main road and see what's going on. So you can see in the distance here as well, we've got buildings that we can't actually get to. That's just kind of to give you the idea and the immersion that the land keeps going and going. Um, and then over here, cruising straight down this little dirt track here, straight to the first uh, main main business. You can see some more civilization here, we've got some cars on the main road, which is always nice to see. Pretty hefty big grain store as well, that's quite cool. Gives us something, uh, this is one of our main sell points here, so you know where they are, nice and easy to get to. Huge great grain buildings as well, and that looks like our potato store. Uh, and then we go. Nice and easy. I love those grain bins there. And I love the sound of them as well. You can always just hear them purring along. Really nice. Nice wide roads as well, but what I particularly like about it is that the the verges are really wide as well. So when you go and if you've got a big button, you've got jeweled up, uh, you've got plenty of space to get out of the way, which is really cool. Uh, now we're going to head north. We're going to just keep on rolling. You can see what the levers well. The fields aren't square. There's yes, there's a few square fields, but look how many of those odd shapes. Look how many different features there are. Uh, such as like the little ditch coming through that one. That's really nice. Just breaks the field up. That makes you have to kind of drive around them all and figure things out. Um, and now this was always one of my favourite points. Right down here. 
This little forward crossing was always brilliant, a real favourite of mine. It's something really small, it's it's not a lot at all, but what a great way to access the field. Just glorious. Just a really nice little attention to detail there, I love that. Really, really do. And around, oh good lord that's bumpy, 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 bumpy. And off we go. One of our cell points there, looks like we can sell our pool there. We got some dodgy looking tacos. Bye, Mr. Taco Farmer. And that is uh, Auction David's house on the hill over there. He likes to keep himself away from everybody else. But look at it again, look at the detail. The, the, it just feels so realistic driving through the trees here. Lovely kind of uh, crowded house. Another little house in the trees there. Come with more fields as well. Big fields, plenty to work in with, 24. But then also small little fields like 23 here with a little pasture. A little cell point in there as well. Uh, for, that'll be for your straw. But yeah, so like, what's great about this is if you want to start from scratch, you've got plenty of small fields in which to do so. You can really get stuck in there with the small ones and really make it work out. And then work your way up to some big fields like 15 here and then 13 next to it as well. Really give you some different uh, challenges. Uh, some of the models here look incredible in 17 and 19. The textures have really transferred over very well. Look fantastic. Really do like that little, a lot of abandoned old little barns really. Look great. Uh, moving on we have got the store here. Crucial point in any, uh, in any map. Next to a few different facilities, but first of all, we'll just spin around here, try not to crash into anyone. Very difficult for me, I know. Nice big store, because let's face it, you're buying big uh, North American style equipment, so you're going to need that space to rumble through. And then, uh, that's all good. And then plenty of space here, this is Agri Extra S, because quality matters. This is one of our uh, many sell points. Nice plenty of space to drive through because don't forget you're going to be coming through here with your big semi trailers and your big rigs, one space. And right behind that you've got your uh, BGA as well. So selling grass is uh, definitely possible here. Really, really nice. And then back on we go. Whoop. And then so going across the top of the map there, there's certain fields around here that do look very striking when you get close into them. Look, uh, really, really nice. Nice little views through fields and into the distance as well. I seem to recall there's a few around here on our right hand side. Uh, but yeah, what we'll also do is we're going to have to look at contracts as well. So we just slow down a little bit, bring up our menu once more. We do have a few contracts as you can see, which is always nice. So we've got field 44 and 30. Uh, let's have a look at Field 44 and 30. So there's 30, that's a harvest job. And 44, 45, 43, 44. So that 44 would be a great one to get stuck into. Get a lot of money for that and be able to work that one down quite quickly as well. You can see just over there is where we started before. Just our right would be where the oak tree is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now we did have a role play for this series in FS17. I don't think we're going to bring that back, but we are going to have a bit of a play with it, that's for sure. Uh, see what trouble we can get ourselves up to. Uh, now, if we have a look, we're going to have a bit of a further drive along and we're going to cut back in. Uh, because why the heck not? But look at that! Bam, son! Beautiful. Let's just come around this bend like this and take this little hairpin turn up here. Like so. Come past Ian and Sons Timber Yard, obviously a timber cell point there should you ever need it. Plenty of great forestry equipment now on the Mild Hub so you can get stuck into that, that is for sure. Uh, and then along we go, now that main road to our left you can just see that is the main road down to the farm. This one will take us there but this goes past the pig farm first which is important. We come cruising along here. Plenty of storage space here once again, but crucially there are our uh, pig areas, which is great. Pig huts are all in place. Huge, I do love this store as well. Huge building. And there we go, and just over there we have a uh, reservoir as well for water. And 
in we come. Looking magnificent across the board, I have to say. Uh, really do want to get stuck into this. I am going to be very keen to... I'll probably live stream this on a couple of occasions, but more important than that, I think I will be uh, just having this as my own game save, really. I really enjoy using American equipment. Um, I really enjoy using big size equipment as well, so that's definitely something I want to do. Uh, and try to, try to continue doing. Uh, any streams that I do will of course be using seasons with this so we'll really get to see what the light looks like. As you can see it's early in the morning but the light looks brilliant on here. It really really is. Um, so yeah, Oxygen David has worked very hard to get this converted up there whilst keeping and adding to some of the, the detail in fact uh, with that, which is really good. If we um, just jump into having a look at what we've got in the garage here for the start. Obviously we've, we've seen all the combines is there anything in here that we have yet to see? Got a place for us. No, we're looking good. Fantastic stuff. Uh, lots of potential here as well in terms of being able to um, kind of add placeables. There is a great looking placeable pack coming out which will mirror a lot of this style of, uh, of sheds. So that'd be really cool. Uh, we're going to have a little trip down to the cabin here as well. Um, but yeah, really beautiful map here. The beauty about this map is, for me, the level of detail one. The fact that it's uh, undulating hills, number two, so that even when you are in these pretty hefty sized fields, like 24 for example, um, A, they're not big and that big and square, B, they give you some challenges um, in terms of just different objects in the field, C, they're undulating so you can't see everything, so it keeps it a bit interesting, uh, so I think that's really good. Lovely little old cabin here, and we come, there's our little wood stove, which is always on year round, a bit weird. And there we have it. There is our little pontoon. I'm, I'm floating on the water. That's a bit weird. Beautiful though. Absolutely beautiful. So let me know in the comments below uh, what you think we should do with this. Like I say, I am very interested to get a, some sort of uh, content on it. It might just be he hitting, uh, here and now, a little bit there, a little bit then. Uh, just something that I can relax to, but uh, do let me know down below what you'd like to see on this map, what machinery you'd like to see, how you'd like to see it. As I mentioned, it is coming to console, it is aiming to come very soon, as soon as Giants can test it fully. Uh, it'll be coming to all platforms and it will be seasons ready as well. So hopefully by then seasons will be out for you console guys as well and you'll be able to make the most of this. Uh, as I truly, truly do think it's a, it's a great map to do it. The views across any kind of uh, vista are incredible. No matter which direction you look in, it's just brilliant. Well, for me, it really, really is quite something. Uh, lots of views get stuck into as well. So, uh, like I say, keep an eye on uh, Auction David's page for any updates of this. I'll link it in the description below. Keep an eye on my uh, Facebook, Discord, Instagram as well. Links will all be below if you want to keep up to date for that one so you can join on and see what's going on with it. Uh, until next time though, we're going to leave it here, this is just a short one, if you've yet to do so, do go and check out uh, Virtual Farmer, Landy Kid and Rainbow Dave who are also doing a bit of a first look tour on this map, and we'll see more of this in the not too distant future. Until next time though, I hope you have enjoyed, I have been Simulation for the Nation, and we will see you in the next one.